we're going. All right. So today we're here with Monty, and he's a rescue boy, so he hasn't really learned how to play with toys. And he's actually a little bit fearful, a little timid and shy. So what we're doing is just some good uh, counter conditioning to make him have a positive association with a toy. So we're starting off with a ball. Now when I first started, when I present this to him, he would kind of back up a little bit. He wasn't terrified, but he definitely was not interested in being close to it. So the first thing that I want to do to build interest with this object, so because he doesn't have an innate interest, we need to kind of build one through training. As I take part of a treat, take half of it, I stick it on top of the ball, and I've been presenting it to him. Okay, he dropped it. But the idea is to get him to the point where he's touching the ball, he's manipulating the ball, and he's getting really comfortable, so he's starting to have a positive association. He sees this and he thinks, fun. Okay, so step one, just doing this, getting him used to it, touching the ball. Next time, I'm gonna say the word touch when he does that. When he gets his nose on the ball, I'm gonna say the word touch, okay? So put the treat on the ball touch okay because that's going to be his cue word because if at some point I'm going to be able to roll the ball say touch have him go over touch the ball come back eventually we'll build on to this more and more and I'll talk about that in a minute next step putting the ball down putting the tree on top of it and letting him get it on his own touch and using the same exact cue word now dogs are kind of funny we've been working on this off camera I want to remind you that working on this for between one to five minutes is optimal and it's better to do short, brief training periods multiple times throughout the day, or you know, in an evening or morning, whenever you get a chance to work with him, than to try to sit down and do a long period of training. He'll get exhausted and he won't get a chance to sit back and kind of learn, reflect, and regroup. Um, so definitely make sure that you're taking breaks because that's just as important as the training time period itself. So again, take the ball, put the treat on it, see if he'll go and get it. Touch, okay? when he, you want to say the word as soon as he's eating the treat or touching the ball, whatever happens first. If he touches the ball and the treat falls off, say the word touch when he touches the ball. Touch. Now, dogs are kind of funny. So as soon as I move this the ball for a new location, he might be hesitant. We've worked through this a little bit before, but let's see how he does. So I'm gonna try moving it. So he has to bend more, possibly get up. See if this is too much. Touch, good. That was a good example where the treat fell off, but I still wanted to pair the word when he's actually touching the ball. Touch. Notice that he was a little more hesitant because I moved it farther away. He tends to be hesitant when he has to cross my body to get to the treat and to the reward. So he's really hesitant if he has to have to walk by me. So that's something you wanna build up over time. It'll probably be easier for him if I move it over here and he doesn't have to touch, when he doesn't have to cross my body. He doesn't go across my line right here. So if he's here and I put the ball over here, that's harder for him because he has to walk by me. Anytime he doesn't have to do that, he tends to be more successful. So now I'm gonna try moving it again. touch. Now the next stage, and I don't want, to, I'm not going to do this too much because I don't want to, he's doing really well and I don't want to move too fast for him, but the next stage is getting to the point where we come over and he gets, and we start teaching him to touch the ball without the treat being on it, and when he touches it we say touch and then we give him a treat. You really want to get the treat to him within about three seconds, which is challenging when you're starting to, um, get the ball farther and farther from him or from you which is why we want to also work on using the clicker training because when he touches the ball you can say touch or click and then that teaches him that the treat is going to come soon after because it gives you that type of precision but we'll have to the way to get him to eventually not be afraid of the clicker and that noise is to randomly do almost what we're doing right now make a clicking noise drop a treat click drop a treat click drop a treat maybe grab three or five treats do that once or twice a day to the point where eventually he's not scared. Touch. See how he went over there? Another important part of this game is when the ball is down, we want him to engage with it. So if you're not training with him, or right now I don't want him just staring at the ball because it's not interesting, there's nothing on it, um, I want to pick it up. So when he's not in training mode, pick the ball up and put it away so he makes positive association that when he sees it, this is the time
time to play, it's awesome, it's engaging, it's fun to him, and it's not just something that's sitting around the house that's boring. So again, even though he just touched it for the first time, I picked it up, so when I put it back down, he's interested to go and touch it again. Touch. Good boy. That's such a good boy. And if you had seen him before, um, he was very hesitant. He wouldn't always walk over. So this is a, um, he's definitely learning how to, he's also building his confidence as we go. Touch. Now, another thing I wanna mention is give him time to think and engage. You don't wanna do all the work for him. Notice that I did move the ball a little closer that last time, but he took a minute, he looked at me before he went to the ball. Give him that moment to think and process. Let him learn and go through that before um, you try to give up and make it easier for him. See if he'll engage on his own. Touch. I'll do a couple more and then we'll wrap up the video. Take it away. If he doesn't engage, put it back down. Touch. Because now he's really learning that touching and engaging is the way to get the ball. Touch. Okay, so the next steps for this game to get him more and more involved is to keep doing this. I would say do five for five rule. That means um, someone's over here, so you can just kind of stick with me um, for one Come on second. Um, Come on in. And what you want to um, what you want to do next for this game um, is to do five for five. So that means that five times in a row he's able to touch the ball within you know maybe a six inch. Uh, distance from his body. He can do that five times in a row successfully over five training periods. That's the five for five. When he does that, you can make it more challenging. Then start to move the ball farther away and move it farther, maybe a foot away from him, farther and farther until you get to the point where you can roll the ball and he's chasing it, he touches it, he come, you say touch, he, he comes back, you give him a treat. Then you can start working on teaching him how to engage. If he goes over and touches the ball, that's not enough. Now he has to like really kind of mouth at it. And that all that takes is saying, nope, go touch, and getting him to push more to the point where eventually he starts to pick it up. And I know it sounds funny, but getting him to engage like that, where after a while, he's going to know that this ball is the hot spot. This is what gets the treats. And so that's the thing that you want to keep saying, nope, go touch, and he'll start to push harder and get the ball more and more until he starts to bring it back. So it'll take some time, but little by little, you can build up the interest and turn it into a fun game where you can... Roll it, don't have your expectations too high. Roll the ball, have him touch, and then have him come back even though he's leaving it there. That's the first start, because you're teaching him to chase and to really engage, and then you can work on picking it up. So those are the different stages of teaching him how to engage and start to play with the ball.